by your choice you have chosen to be an enemy of Jesus Christ you have forgotten God you have forgotten Jesus Christ you have forgotten righteousness why don't you get a life what you have is not a life you're wasting the life that God gave you you just want to party and get drunk and live for the moment enjoying life you think that is enjoyment wait until you start burning in hell 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 is awaiting all sinners the sinners of god the sinners right here in front of me you've made yourself an enemy of god and the bible says to be carnally minded is enmity against god when you think about just gratifying your flesh just enjoying life just fleshly stuff the bible called you an enemy of god right and if you sow in the flesh you will reap corruption you will reap eternal destruction in hellfire if you sow in the spirit you will reap everlasting life but you come here tonight to party oh this is not the life of a christian it's not a life of a believer it's a life of a sinner a wicked sinner it's a dry wood you're a dry wood ready to be cast into hell you're just a dry wood ready to be cast into hell you are not fruitful you are dry nothing holy about your life nothing moral about your life your life is just sinful oh god sees your life he sees and he has a record of every idle word you speak he has a record of what you do in the secret and he will bring you into judgment very very shortly oh we don't know the hour we don't know the day but jesus christ is surely coming back and you are not ready you're coming here to party you are not ready for jesus christ you are so not ready and you do not love god don't even confuse yourself and say oh i know jesus i love god god loves me you are just a liar the bible says jesus christ loves righteousness and he hates lawlessness hebrews chapter 1 which side of the spectrum are you are you on the righteous side or are you on the lawless side you're coming here tonight you are not right with jesus christ you are not right with god you are on the lawless part and heaven is by inheritance only heaven is not by merit heaven is not by your good deeds and your deeds actually are wicked they're sinful and corrupt jesus christ says heaven is by inheritance he says except a man is born again he shall not inherit inherit the kingdom of god and you're coming here your immodest clothing reveal the state of your heart it reveals the state of your spirituality that you are not right with god inheritance do you have eternal life you can have eternal life today it's not too late today can be that day that god will give you eternal life he has given us eternal life and that life is it is in his son jesus christ you can turn from your sin and believe in jesus christ today and you can have eternal life but oh if you continue in disobedience you continue in lawlessness amen you are headed for hell that is exactly where all sinners go hell fire nothing complicated about it hell fire waiting for every sinner The 
Bible commands us to be followers of those who are good. But what do you expect? You're following the wicked people, the most sinful wicked people in the country. The musician, like this wicked woman performing here tonight, the K. Michelle of a woman. She's a child of hell, headed for hell. And you're following her. You're coming to watch her perform. She's a sinful woman, a wicked woman, on her way to hell. And you're following her. She is now your celebrity. Oh, you love her. She's your celebrity. You pay money to come watch her perform. Oh, what a wicked person you are in the sight of Jesus Christ. What a wicked person you are in the sight of God. On your way to hell, you even pay money to come to such a wicked event to entertain yourself, your flesh. You only think about satisfying and gratifying your flesh. What about Jesus Christ? When are you going to start thinking about pleasing God? When are you start going to think about obeying Jesus Christ? Because Jesus Christ says, if you love me, keep my commandment. But oh, you don't obey him, you don't love him. You don't have an inheritance in the kingdom of God. You, I'm talking about the kingdom of God, sinner. I'm talking about the kingdom of Jesus Christ. You can enter into the kingdom if you're born again. If you're not born again, it is your own fault. You have chosen not to be born again. You love sin. You love to get drunk. Yo, you love to fornicate. You love to party. You love to do your drugs. Those needles. You love to smoke pot. Oh, you're not right with Jesus Christ. You are so headed for hell. Today can be that day that marks a new beginning in your life. A new life in Christ. The eternal life God has given us is in His Son. And we get that life by obedience. Oh, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, who according to, the abundant, to His abundant mercy has begotten us again to a living hope, a living hope to an inheritance uncorruptible and reserved in heaven undefiled reserved in heaven for you who are kept by the power of God for salvation by faith for salvation ready to be revealed in the last time oh that is the testimony of believers of Christians they have been separated they have been washed they have an inheritance through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead, we have an inheritance, undefiled, incorruptible, reserved in heaven for us. What about sinners? Sinners have no inheritance in the kingdom of God. The Bible makes it clear that the unrighteous have no inheritance. The unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Do not be deceived, neither fornicators, no idolaters, no adulterers, no homosexuals, no sodomites, no thieves, no covetous, no drunkards, no revilers have any inheritance in the kingdom of God. So you are on that list. Oh, you need to get to reality. You need to awaken to reality to know that, you know, you need to start deceiving yourself. You think that God loves you, you're going to go to heaven. You need to stop deceiving yourself. You have no inheritance in the kingdom of God. Why should he let you into heaven? Heaven is for the holy people. Heaven is for the saints, not for sinners. On that list, the first thing, the Bible says fornicators. Who are the fornicators? The fornicators are those people going to bed when they are not married. 
They go to bed with each other. They practice wicked things when they are not married. The thing that only married people should do, they're doing it. That is called fornication. Or they're living together. That is called fornication. Jesus Christ says, if you look upon a woman or a man to lust after them, you have committed adultery in your heart. So you have lust in your heart. You have lust for that guy, that girl. In the eyes of God, you are an adulterer. And you are headed for hell. He says you do not have an inheritance in his kingdom. And second on that list, he says idolaters. Idolater. Who is an idolater? An idolater is a worshiper of something other than God. He places something above God. That is an idolater. Idolater. Oh, what do you love more than God? Is it sports? Some of you are sports nuts. You're crazy about sports. You know about all the statistics. You know about all the players. But you know little or zero of the Bible. You are an idolater. And nowadays we have people that TV is their idol. Like the prophet Ezekiel says, they have set up their own idol in their own heart. Television is your idol. You watch this Netflix, you watch the other Amazon, you watch the Hulu, YouTube, and on and on and on. That is your idol. You do not read the Bible. You just follow TV shows, movies, and you actually want to say you love God. You do not love God. You love your idol. Like Ken Michelle here performing tonight. To some of you, she's your idol. She is your idol. You follow celebrities, they are your idols. You do not have an inheritance in the kingdom of God. Jesus Christ says that if you love your father or mother more than him, you are not fit for the kingdom. If you love your children more than Jesus Christ, you are not fit for the kingdom. Even in your own self, if you love yourself more than you love Jesus Christ, you're not fit for the kingdom of God. Yourself has become an idol. You only think about your own flesh. That is your idol. And Jesus Christ says you are not fit for his kingdom. So what is your idol today? Flesh. Pleasure. You just pleasure yourself. You just want to have a good time, so-called, by you. A good time that will land you in hell. And you call that a good time. That has become your idol. And today we have people who claim to be homosexuals. Oh, Jesus Christ says, the Bible says that you do not have an inheritance in the kingdom of God. You have no inheritance. If you do not have an inheritance in the kingdom of God, you have it somewhere. Your inheritance is in hell. The Bible says the wages of sin is death. Eternal separation, eternal destruction in hellfire. That is what you get for the life of sin. The wages of sin is death death so you have people that are confused they don't know their gender whether they are men or women they don't know they're confused they call themselves homosexual jesus christ can straighten them out he can make the crooked things straight and i adulterous or you have couples actually cheating on one another that is called adultery and the society is supporting that. There are ads, there are websites, there are movements supporting that kind of a wicked life. 
you are an, an adulterer in the eyes of God. Okay, so you do not have an inheritance in the kingdom of God. And the sodomites, homosexuals and sodomites, no inheritance in the kingdom of God. That's what the Bible says. I mean, I'm giving you what the Bible says. If you, do not, if you do not have an inheritance in the kingdom of God, you can get it today. It's not too late. God has appointed a day called Judgment Day. The Bible says, God commands all men everywhere to repent. For there's coming a day in which God is going to judge the world through Jesus Christ. Judgment day is going to come. You do not know what day, you do not know what hour, you don't know what year. But it's going to come. The day that God is going to settle account with every one of us. Are you ready? You're coming to this event, you're not ready. You're on your way to hell. You need to wake up and get right with Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ says, except a man is born again, he shall not see, he shall not inherit the kingdom of God. And he says, if you do not repent, you will perish. Okay, judgment day is coming very quickly. It's not going to be delayed, it's coming quickly. A day of judgment, just as the name implies, judgment day. Don't be fooled and say to yourself, judgment is delayed. Oh, maybe God doesn't judge, maybe God loves you. What you're doing, God loves it. Or you're deceiving yourself, judgment is still coming. You're going, to be die, you're going to die. Bible says it is appointed unto man once to die. After death comes judgment. After you die, it is judgment. There's no second chance, no reincarnation. It is judgment. You live and you die, the next thing is judgment. That is what is waiting for you, judgment. You cannot escape. It would have been better for you if you were never born. But now that you are born, you are going to face Jesus Christ when you die. It is appointed unto man once to die, one time. What happened next? Judgment. Okay, so continuing on with the list. The sodomites, the thieves, the coveters, the drunkards, those are the people that do not have any inheritance in the kingdom of God. No inheritance whatsoever in the kingdom of God. 